Hey guys, it's March 26th and we're getting freezing temperatures and let me just show you my garden before we get these freezing temperatures. Some of my broccoli is coming up. We have radishes. My potatoes are coming up. I really think it's going to freeze tonight. I am not going to water today because it'll just freeze. These are collard greens and mustard greens. And we have turnips. And we have onions over here. And nothing else. Oh, and we have asparagus that's coming up. I'll let you guys get a real quick walkthrough. And we'll see what survives tonight. We're gonna get three freezing temperatures this morning. And it, it snowed yesterday, it snowed a little bit today. This, and I had planted just a little parsley here. And it's been fighting for its life. I'm just gonna keep it covered tonight. Hopefully that, I'll probably put a rock on top of there and make sure it stays. I have garlic, that'll make it. And we have mint. The mint's starting to thrive. And all the blossoms on the trees are sprouting. So guys, we have blooms on the trees. It's definitely springtime, but we're getting freezing temperatures tonight. Let's see if these make it. Most of my stuff makes it. I planted a lot in February and a lot of it, almost, well, all of it made it. So guys, we have blooms on the trees. Let's see if these make it. Freezing temperatures tonight, guys. So these are the ones that survived that frost. They've survived a couple of frosts. I planted these in February. These are radishes. And I planted, planted them right around Valentine's Day. They're getting really big and almost ready to harvest here soon. And I have... I also have some potato plants. I planted these in February. They're doing fantastic. I have whites, reds, and purples. I have some collard greens here. They're doing very well, survived a couple of freezes. I have mustard greens. These are all gonna be so good this year. And they're starting to get big. I also have some turnips that are growing. And I barely planted, I just planted this bok choy. I barely planted this about a week ago. And they're already coming up. Bok choy is so easy to grow. And then I have, I also have some onions that are growing. They're doing really well. And there's red onions, yellow onions, and white onions in here. I planted these from onion sets. I've planted onions and they've survived all winter, but these have survived since February. I planted these early February and they've survived a couple of frosts. I also have my asparagus made it through these freezing temperatures. Look, I'm getting some there. I'm getting some there. They're pretty thick. We'll wait till they're about six inches. That's the recommended length to start harvesting your asparagus. These are ready to harvest. They're over ready, but I'm going to harvest these today and eat them. I'm just going to steam them and just eat them. I have a roast in there. They'll be perfect for that roast as a side. And of course, the cilantro is doing really well. I think I'm going to get some shade cloth and move these into a shadier spot here in the near future before it starts to seed up and bolt up. But it's doing so well. Look at how plush that is. It's just so plush. This is the time. Mm, it smells good. I love cilantro. It doesn't taste like soap to me. Coriander, they'll call it also. March is the month for cilantro. Strawberries are doing really well. I do have some flowers growing in here. So we'll be getting strawberries pretty soon. They're pretty thick. And my lettuce is doing well. 
these are sprouting i planted this lettuce probably about i planted this lettuce about three weeks ago and it's coming up the peas are doing really well they are coming up i planted these in february and they're doing really good look at that I also have celery coming up and we have all of these survived that frost and then I have some carrots I planted some other carrots under here but they're not coming up and that's kind of strange that these aren't coming up these came up I planted these in February so I might move some over into that bald spot I'm gonna try but I have plenty of this sprouting. So in zone seven, I would say you need to sow your seed in zone seven, probably in February, because these are doing really well now. And I planted these ones a little later, nothing's happening. Not a thing is happening in there. So I'm gonna move some of these over here. Hopefully that works. My mint is doing well. And I have garlic doing fantastic and they're getting their chill hours on I put a little more dirt in here so I expect to get garlic here in probably about a month I'll probably start harvesting this you guys my chives are doing good I gave some away and last but not least my lettuce is doing good this other container and all of this seed is sprouting. This container is full of seed, so I imagine I'll get a lot of lettuce in this container. So that's my little weekly garden update, guys. Look at these blooms, guys. Oh, and they smell wonderful. Look at those. Just beautiful. Spring is definitely here. Look at these blooms. Oh my goodness. Boy, these blooms, they smell so good. Look at them. Just a wonderful set of blooms. It's April 2nd, guys. Spring is definitely here. I am loving this time of year. I want to thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section below. If you like this content, hit that like button. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.